Hello my friends, let me show you how you can generate beautiful images of your real product without paying anything for the computing time. It's simple. First, you go to the course and download the workflow. There is a link to this, you click and download workflow. Okay, it's JSON file, easy. Then you go to run comfy. Run comfy if you uh, decide eventually to get bigger machine and pay a little bit for it, use 40G as the uh, discount code, it will give you 10% off. But today I'll show you how to do it completely free. So you do sign in and uh, sign in with Google. Let's say I'll choose the account where, which never was uh, registered before. So brand new, everything is brand new, brand new server, everything. I should have some, well, I have 25 cents for free. Nice. Let's launch machine. And this is what I can launch uh, for free. It will give me about 25 minutes to run time. It will be enough for many images. So I just click next here. Uh, I click next and hit launch. Okay. It's 15 minutes actually. Five to three minutes wait and then we'll be ready to go. Already it's on. So next step is load the file that you have downloaded from the course. There is a button load here on the control panel. There is a little control panel. Let's wait. Yep. You go to downloads and download, I mean, upload a JSON file. It says that you have missing some nodes. It's not a problem. You close this, you go to manager. This panel actually can be moved anywhere. Uh, let's move it here. You go to manager and hit install missing custom nodes. Okay. You click and you need to select all of them. I can do it easily like this and hit install any of these buttons either. By the way, on the time when you'll be watching this video, maybe it's already you'll be there. These uh, these servers um, being updated uh, quite often and uh, all these nodes may be a part of default install. But in any case, you click and it will be installed in a couple minutes maybe. Okay, it's ready. You need to hit restart as it prompted confirm here and uh, a little bit more wait maybe less than a minute uh, when server is restarted on the background after that you need to refresh your browser window and you'll be ready to go okay it's ready then next step is to refresh like i said let's refresh it and then you need to load the image. Grab any image that you have. It may be your portfolio, it may be your client's images that you took for them, or it may be your future client image uh, done on black or white or gray, but seamless background. Uh, let's say I do have image. This is your control panel. You only work with this. There is big green square. You could choose file to upload and let's go and upload the file for example i do have this image of this perfume okay i just to uh, grab it from amazon any product um, white gray or black background you load it here then you need to put any image here any in this workflow you don't need to have uh, anything else so you grab just anything let's have this <laughs> okay it's not gonna work. Uh, we're gonna uh, use something else. And the last part, you need to update your prompt, basically write a prompt. But the good thing that uh, the workflow that I made for you has all kinds of workflows as an example. And I do have uh, this one, control C in this text area, and then just control V and uh, it will be like this top-down photo of a perfume on a dark red shaped waves and oh sorry red silk shaped waves and pearls something simple and then you just hit prompt q prompt that's it it runs completely free and what it will do first it will clip objects from the background it will do it for you it will also create a mask from it so you can see how accurate or not if your subject is a little bit uh, unusual so AI may not be good of clipping it out. You need to do it in Photoshop. It's super easy. You just um, clip it based on, I mean, using lasso tool or uh, remove background. But basically this remove background does the same as AI. So, uh, and actually AI works better in my case, uh, in many cases, but you can do it yourself. So after that, it generates the reference image. 
So image that will be somehow close to your prompt, but won't have a product, your product in it. It will be just some generic stuff, okay? We have 10 minutes left, which should be more than enough. So it creates now a uh, reference image. Okay, as you can see, it based on the prompt, the product is completely different, but we need it as a reference for the main generation. Okay, I do have version of this prompt where you upload the reference image. You can find any image that look alike and it will transfer the style of that image to your product uh, with generated background. But uh, this one is super simple. It will be doing everything based on the prompt and on your product. Now let's wait. Now it generates the image of the product. First time, first generation takes a little bit longer since it's loading model to the memory and each model is about six gigabyte, six to one gigabyte, and there are several of them. Uh, the workflow is huge. And this is what I've been working on um, for quite a while. And it's yours uh, from the course. On the course also, I have everything that you need, all the tutorials of uh, how to use this workflow, uh, different versions of this workflow with upscaling up to 10 megapixel. It's 3000 by 3000 uh, pixel image that you can do right now. Uh, what it creates, it creates image uh, 1024 pixel wide. So it will be square image. It can do vertical, it can do um, horizontal images. It can do square. It uh, only based on what file you'll be loading here, okay? And uh, let's wait a little bit more and you'll be ready. Voila, so we have this image. As you can see, it's not only uh, placed this image on the background, it also changes image a little bit. If you uh, open this largely, you will see a little bit of reflection. Uh, you will see shadow from the image and uh, well, this image, it's not perfect. It's not the, the image that you're gonna shoot on this velvet, but I did it in five minutes. And this is the beauty of this. This image is good for social media, for your clients, for yourself. It's really good and it has real product. So this is the benefit that the main uh, beauty of this course. Now you have time, you still have seven, seven minutes. So let's run different products. Uh, let's uh, grab this kettle. Where is our kettle? Uh, like this, here it is. Our kettle that I prepared in Photoshop. Okay, why not? Uh, let's grab the prompt for this. It's a pretty simple prompt. So we can find something. Where is our... Okay. For example, here we go. It will be kettle. Kettle on on the countertop of modern luxury kitchen, marble, glass and metal. Let's have uh, wood. Let's remove this. That's it. Will will be nice. Of a modern kitchen on a wooden wooden counter. Top of modern kitchen. Cup of hot tea with lemon next to it. So they light from a window. Very simple workflow. Let's run it. This time it will be way faster. So it does the same. It uh, basically creates a mask from it. It uh, grabs the image. It creates uh, this what called control net. Uh, basically, it tells AI that our kettle should look exactly like that. Then it creates reference image with the kettle completely different, but well, at least it based on the prompt. It will be easier for the main generation because uh, well, it will be a reference image. It will transfer a style. And meanwhile, you can change it. It can be, uh, let's say black marble marble a countertop of a modern kitchen and let's say not cup of the tea with lemon uh, let's have a glass cap of hot tea without lemon and oh sorry hot tea right and soft delight and hit prompt and meanwhile we can review so it created image for us okay it's placed this subject on the on that uh, countertop if you examine it, you see that it's changing. There is slight reflection from the window here, which is, was not originally. It also has a reflection from elements that are on the right, on the uh, on the kettle. And it basically changed the subject. It's not pacing the subject. 
but if you look here you will see that it preserves all the text this is something that no other um, AI can do it preserves all the text it's exactly the same subject so let's see what it will create for us so there is another version of it right now it's uh, marble countertop and again different reflections you see there is no yellow reflection anymore uh, because window is white windows is actually on other side and you see this way more brighter than the previous one right because it added reflection to the subject so it really puts it in it has a reflection on the countertop and if you ask me it looks really good especially for social media then what you can do you can generate well how much minutes we have four minutes left you can generate generate more products on this and if you buy a little bit more room you can upgrade to pro and buy a larger server with more video memory then you can turn on upscale 3x upscale okay i have 3x upscale here you turn it on and it will generate this image 3000 by 3000 pixels which is more than enough for many applications besides printing but online placement for sure then you can grab that image you can grab it and paste for example here okay if you need super extra quality then you grab this image that you have uh, you bring it on top and uh, do masking and then voila you can easily if you need to preserve some details of it if you really need to gra uh, grab details uh, you can grab the uh, brush and brush it over to bring details but f in our case it's not needed because the product looks amazingly good this may be removed actually there's some strange little bit strange things so you just place it uh, where ai wasn't really good you can fix it easily you see it was a little bit changing here so we don't need this so it's super easy fix of things that you may not like based on ai generation here we go and this is the beautiful beautiful image that has real product okay and it's ready to be sent to your customer and you generate it in one minute okay dokie so check out the course if you'd like add funds using 40g it will give you 10 percent uh, discount code 40g 10 percent on this and uh, look below all these images were generated with this workflow what do you think about it? Let me know. I'm open to any discussion. And, uh, well, in my opinion, this is something that will change the world of photography. You still need to take pictures of products. AI cannot do this. But the rest, it can help you a lot. Already, cheers.